All right, what else do we have? Can I tell them about my uh, cockroach story? If you must. <laughs> go, go from wits to cockroaches. So, uh, I like this site called Gizmodo. If anyone is into tech, you're probably uh, camping out on the giz on the daily. I came across an article the other day that shook me to my core. I shed a tear, um, almost got sick in my stomach, so I'm going to tell you about it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm scrolling through the, the headlines on the giz and here's what I come across. Doctors pull a live cockroach from woman's skull. Stop there. You don't even need to read anymore. I'm hooked. I want to find out what this is all about. But how does she know she had a cockroach in her skull? So... Because it says it in the title. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's on the internet. It must be true. Which is what I thought until I saw the video. We're not going to show you the video. Please. <laughs> so this woman in India uh, was complaining of like pain in this general area. Not constant. Just kind of intermittent and she said it felt like something was crawling yeah that's gross <laughs> so she went to a couple doctors and they're like oh you know it's you know maybe a sinus infection or uh, you know something other than a bug in your head so I think by the time she got to the third doctor they investigated a little deeper and sure enough right in there. I mean, it was about that big. It's not like those uh, Madagascar <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was envisioning when he told me the like, story. I was like, how in the world? That thing's like huge. How did it get up there? <laughs> yeah, so it was in there. And they got it out. What if it laid eggs? Ooh, I didn't even think about that. <clears throat> but you know, they say that when you're sleeping, Little little bugs go in your ear and in your nose and stuff. You know who says that? Unclean people. <laughs> people who don't clean their house or wash their bed sheets. Look, damn, microscope. You know, hey, I'm just saying. But yeah, they uh, they interviewed some other doctors um, in this article, and most of them said they had never seen anything like this before. Hmm. Mm. Okay, so if you're still with us after that, 